Hello, hello, how's it going everyone? So in this video, we're going to cover how to import conversions from Go High Level over to Google Ads. And the reason I wanna do this is because if let's say you get a new lead that comes in the pipeline, but they don't show up with the first appointment, you wanna be able to tell Google, hey, I only want leads that have maybe only shown for the first appointment or have gone to this stage in the funnel. Um, just because we don't wanna optimize for something that's too far up the funnel. So importing conversions is very, very important for lead generation especially. Um, so what we're gonna wanna do first is you're gonna log into your Go High Level account. Um, on the section, you're gonna hit settings. Um, so I'll go back here and I'll go into the bottom. So it'll be over here, hit settings, and then you'll go to integrations, which is typically towards the bottom. If you don't see integrations, um, then you probably don't have permissions and you might need to get permission from the client in order to do so. Um, then from there, you're going to connect your Google Ads account. And what that will do is that will sync the API from Go High Level to your Google Ads. Once you have that sorted out, we're gonna jump over to um, automations and we'll kind of pause over here. Now, now what you wanna do is go over to your Google Ads account. And when you go to the Google Ads account, you want to look for the tools and settings. So that might be in a different area because I'm on the previous view, so you might have to change your appearance to maybe use previous view. Um, but our goal here is to try to get to the conversion page. So tools and settings and then going to conversions. Um, so now we're in here, we're on this page, and then what we'll do next is we will create a new conversion action. So I hit new conversion action, and then I will select import. So typically the one on the far right, import, import data from Google Analytics or another source. Perfect, got that. And then you'll see a selection inside of here. Um, you wanna select the one that's manual import using API or uploads, which we just connected a moment ago. So got the API and then track conversions from clicks. So got that. And then I'll hit continue. And then what we'll do next is we will create the, I guess, action or goal category for it. I'll just mark it as qualified lead. Um, then we want to name it so this could be like go high level conversion import whatever you want to do with that um, just name that and then i like to use a different value for each conversion because sometimes people might want to import um, a certain value attributed to the lead so that kind of all depends um, so i just leave this on use a different value for each conversion just in case um, i leave my count on every as well and then the click through conversion window on 90 days i like to max this out and then an attribution on data driven not a huge deal on um, you know, selecting the count every versus one. Um, it all kind of depends on how your go high level is set up in the first place. So anyways, um, you'll create and continue and then it should look something just like this over here, qualified lead, and you'll see it's on primary and it says website import from clicks. So now that we have this in Google Ads, we can go back to go high level and we can go into the workflow list right here. Now, um, I've already created one, but I'm gonna create another. So you're gonna select create workflow, um, start from scratch, and then when you're in here, make sure to name this. So on the top section, you can just name it Google Ads Conversion Import, um, whatever you wanna name it. And then um, we're gonna add the trigger first. So this is really important. This is gonna be different based on where you are, um, you know, what kind of business you are, where you're at in the, in the purchase cycle. So picking this needs to have enough volume, but not be as far up the funnel, right? So if we only get like one of these like a month, then it's not really worth it for us to use that conversion action. If we get like 20 of these a month, then it's way more so worth it for us to use this conversion action. So I like to kind of find that sweet spot between both of those. So anyways, um, with that in mind, I'm gonna pick a stage. So I'll hit add new trigger. And then I'll go over here and I'll type in opportunity and we're gonna do opportunity change. So what this means is that when someone changes from, let's say, you know, booked appointment to showed up for the appointment or whatever that stage is, we'll select it. So I'll go opportunity status changed. I'm gonna add the filters now. So I'm gonna make sure that I'm looking at the right pipeline. So in pipeline, PPC leads, and then um, I'm gonna add another filter on top of this and you can actually go further down the funnel. You have to actually select these. So I'm just kind of showing you there sort of the process. But anyway, so in pipeline, PPC leads, and then um, pipeline stage is, let's say, goes to, let's just say scheduled meeting. We'll just put that as the, as the action now. So once we have that set up, we'll hit save trigger. Boom, good to go. So we have the trigger established whenever someone reaches whatever stage that is in your pipeline, yours is gonna be different. Um, then the trigger will activate. And now we have to send the data over to Google. So we'll hit the next plus arrow and we'll type in Google 
and it'll show add to Google AdWords. So then we select this and then we'll have the conversion option in here on the account that is linked via API. So I select this and I have qualified lead as that action. And then once we're good with that, I'll hit save action and we have the trigger on the opportunity status changed going to Google AdWords and then we're good to go. Um, a tip on setting this up. So let's say you get a phone call that's answered or let's say that you have a lead form that's filled out. Um, you can create an automation that will create an opportunity. So this can work for both phone calls and um, lead forms. It just has to be organized in the pipeline. So whatever trigger happens um, to send the data over to Google will be obviously the, um, you know, it'll hold the GCLID information in there as well as the W braid and G braid. Um, so then when we're done with that, um, I like to just publish this because I know this is going to work and then we can run a test and see if that data pumps into Google ads. So I recommend doing this for every client. And even if you don't have high volume, um, importing this conversion on secondary so it doesn't optimize the bid strategy for it, but you can still optimize for it manually in the keywords. Um, I would highly recommend this. So um, anyways, thanks again. And yeah, hopefully see you guys in another video. Crossing with the Daily Google News, and uh, I'm here with Rob and Alex, who I think probably has one of the hardest jobs in the digital world. Uh, you're the co-founder of High Level, which is the fastest growing, most disruptive marketing software that I've ever seen in my entire life. Do you do you guys consider yourself a Martech? Is that a is that a pejorative to you? Are you okay 